Making fun of America is one of their favorite pastimes worldwide. And people claim it's because it's a country of extremes, or it's because it's a hyper-capitalistic state which ignores the basic needs of its people to increase profit margins. Private equity firms. Or just because they have the orange president. But I have a different theory. I think everybody's just jealous that they can own cool shit like rocket launchers and we can't. And that's exactly why today I will build a torpedo launcher, so that I don't have to be jealous of them anymore. Now let's ask the real questions. Where is the difference between a rocket and a torpedo? A torpedo is in water and a rocket is not. A torpedo is slow and a rocket is not. And that's about it. So I had an idea. I went to the store and bought these birthday fountains. They're just like rockets, but they're way less powerful and they burn a lot longer. And that's why I thought they would be perfect for a torpedo. I didn't exactly know what a torpedo nozzle would look like, so I designed different ones. After 3D printing and assembling them, I chucked them into the water to see if they work. As you can see, they suck ungodly amounts of ass. And that's for two different reasons. The first one, they were just not powerful enough. And reason number two is, they were just not heavy enough. They swam around on the top, so I guess I just invented the rocket boat, which wasn't really what I was going for. To cope with this immeasurable disappointment, I bought myself a pack of whippets. And when I just wanted to start huffing the first one, I had an idea. Why not use the whippets as a propellant for my torpedoes? They're more powerful, they don't burn so the plastic will survive and you can reuse them. And they're heavier so the torpedoes will sink. To see if these cartridges are really suitable for powering rockets, I put one of them in my vise and punctured the membrane. Okay. That was faster than I expected. The gas escaped way too fast, so I tried it again with a smaller needle and it worked perfect. I designed two different kinds of torpedoes. The first one is just a normal underwater torpedo. And the second one is a personal invention I call air torpedo. It is pretty similar to a rocket. I mean, it is a rocket. Yeah, it is a rocket. After a couple of hours of 3D printing, my first rocket was done. Okay, listen to my Minecraft impression. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I built this launcher, it's very simple. You just pull back the spring here, it locks into place. And when you want to fire, put in the torpedo and it goes. Do you guys want some torpedo ASMR? Hold up. Hi guys, welcome to my ASMR. Today, we will assemble a torpedo. Okay, fuck it. I went outside to see if the torpedo works. And it absolutely did not. This shit sucks. Hell no. The problem was that the spring was way too weak, so the hole it punctured in the gas capsule was too small and it barely let any gas through. With that in mind, I put in a stronger spring and shot the next torpedo into my neighbor's yard. Which unfortunately I did not film, so that's why the black screen is here. To avoid that happening again, after printing all of my torpedoes, I went out to a field so I wouldn't accidentally shoot in a window. Okay, I've got my rocket variety pack here. Um, it's the same, you know, nothing different. So, let's go. Farmers be farming. I will start with my least favorite version now. This is the blue fella. First version, first design, not meant for air anyway. So as you can see here, load it and let's go. Same problem like we had before, extremely, can you see it? I don't think so, extremely small hole here and only in the side, so yeah. Next one. But I was expecting this one to suck as and it did, so I'm not really disappointed, but next one. Now here we have the big, the better torpedo, you know, the big fella, the big homie. I guess. Okay. 
did not go really far. You can see it back there in the ground. I mean, it flew like, what's that, like five meters. Not very impressive. Definitely better than before, but I'd still say the hole was way too small when it landed on the floor. There was still coming out a lot of gas, so it just didn't have the amount of gas and power to just shoot off. Now this one here is very promising in my opinion. So let's get it in and let's go. Oh yes. Damn it. Okay. That went very well. Hold up. I hope I find it. And of course I fucking made it black. Why didn't I make it red or something? No, I made it black. So I couldn't fucking find it anymore. I'm a fucking idiot. So I've tried to find this thing for over half an hour now and I just can't find it. I don't know. I've looked everywhere. It's just small and black thing. Um, no jokes. Please no jokes. Okay. Next try. This time I'll shoot into the direction of the path here. And let's see. I think the rocket wasn't all the way in, so next attempt. Hold up, let me line this, this one up. Oh, shit. Now, out of two rockets that I shot, I lost both of them the first time I shot them. Which makes me have great rocket building skills. Not so great rocket finding skills, however. I'm extremely happy with the rockets. They flew very far and the first one pretty straight. The second one straight once it got going. Not really in the beginning, but that was kind of to be expected. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with the rockets. I will have to print another couple one because I want to test them underwater too against the torpedoes. But besides that, overall great result. Works, can't complain. I improved the rocket design so they would hopefully fly straight and also I made them red so I could find them again. And here's a life hack for those of you who don't know a lot about 3D printing. Always, always buy the cheapest filament you can. Because the only thing that's more fun than 3D printing is gambling. Yo, and my successful prints rate is just under 5%. Goat. I'm back. I've got the rockets now. Improved, faster, longer, smarter and red. Always use the cheapest filament. Always. Last one. Now this red one's black, the spinny nozzle I made for the other ones. That's why they're not flying as straight. I mean, they're not flying straight at all. But next try, I will try to shoot them into the air straight up. Okay, you know what I said about cheap filaments? Yeah. I'm at the water. Time for some torpedo tests. In the water. Let's see. I mean, hmm, worked pretty well for about a second before it took off. They do have a lot of power, but they're just, they're not stable, like they fly everywhere, it's just 
and it, you can guess where they land. They, I don't know. They don't fly stable. I don't know. None of the water tests work and that's kind of surprising to me because I expected since the density of the water is higher they would fly more stable in the water too. But even the ones that worked in the air as rockets didn't work underwater and all of them took off which was kind of surprising to me because they're heavier than water and they're front heavy so I actually expected them to sink and not take off. But unfortunately I did not have any access to a pool so I couldn't really try them in deeper water. And the water at this lake was pretty muddy so I couldn't really try to shoot them deeper because you can't see it anymore. My whole intention here was to build a torpedo launcher and only made the rockets for fun. But now the only part that actually works are the rockets. So I guess it's a rocket launcher now. Thanks for watching.